about this particular thing. Because it turns out that that thing is real. thing I referred to earlier? Well, it's happening, and it will destroy us all! Someone has to stop this thing! And that someone is you. You didn't think it would be that easy, did you? who can stop this thing. You are that person. Now take my hand! For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Reaction. Runway Gen 2 is without a doubt incredible, but there are just some glaring issues with it and it's not quite there yet. Making that trailer was way harder than I thought it would be. It took way longer and it cost a lot more because I was making stupid mistakes that were costing me credits or seconds. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made that trailer and also just some nuances of Runway AI. This isn't gonna be like a boring tips and tricks video or a full blown tutorial, but I'm gonna show you what I've learned through the past like three days of putting together that two minute trailer, including coming up with the concept for the trailer, chat GPT, using Runway's text and image to video. And when I would use Mid Journey instead of Runway and why, a few tools and some of the pricing and things like that. So first of all, a lot of people make videos like say something new comes out, they'll go make a video and give you some tips and tricks, do some quick research, but not really actually use the software. So I thought to myself, I want to actually make something, really get to know the software before I make this video. So I decided on making a movie trailer. Now I've taken a trailer editing course. I've watched tons of YouTube videos on documentary filmmaking and I've been editing for years, but the problem is, what a trailer is designed to do is to tease a movie. And if you want to tease a movie, you need a script for the movie or a concept. So I started out like any entrepreneur who isn't a script writer, and I went over to ChatGPT. Now, I didn't end up using what I generated in ChatGPT, but I thought this would be really cool to show you. So I went over to ChatGPT and I said, here's my big idea. I want to make, basically, I want to make a movie trailer using Runway AI. I know you might not be familiar with the program, but I need help. I need a concept for the trailer. Then I need an idea or a premise for a movie. And basically, to keep this short and sweet, it came up with a concept. In a mystical forest, there is like this tree that keeps the darkness away. A girl awakes and she realizes it's her destiny to go and save the tree. And basically, it just made this like Zelda slash Horizon Zero Dawn kind of thing. It's given me the opening shots, voiceover introduction. And yeah, it was absolutely epic. So I don't want to spend too much time on this. But this is what ChatGPT can do. The problem is, as you'll see, when I went into Runway to try and create a character, the faces are just weird. It hasn't worked out the human anatomy, people grow legs, the eyes like open and close and stuff like that. So I really thought this is just going to be too difficult. Not that I don't like a challenge and I still wanted to make something epic, but using Runway AI wasn't going to do it for human faces. So needing some inspiration, I went over to YouTube and I t searched how to make a movie trailer looking for some inspiration. And I found this insane video 
called How to Make a Blockbuster Movie Trailer by Oral Notes. Huge shout out to them because I watched that trailer and I heard that tune that you spin me right round, baby, right around. And I love that tune. I thought this is epic and it gives the directions. So when I started making this trailer, I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow along with the instructions and by the end I'm going to level up because that's how I learn. I create something through actually implementing it not just watching it or copying it but making my own and i went over to art list and i found like one single note but it was in like the key of c and what this trailer doesn't really tell you is that the note has to match the whooshes has to match the brands has to match the tune and literally after a whole day i even got my guitar tried recording the note making it sound good and it just sounded rubbish. So I found out that you can buy the track and I'm actually hoping that it's copyright free. I've even emailed them and um, I've credited them. I'm posting this video and I'll leave the link as well. So if you're watching this all or not, please don't copyright claim this video because it took me forever and I love the track. But anyway, I went over, I bought the track from all on notes. Originally I was doing it without the voiceover, but the voiceover gave me the story pieces as well and just really helped. Now getting into actually editing and creating in Runway. So first of all, here's Runway. If you never tried it, you just log in like this and it's got two features, text to image and start with image. So basically when you start with text, you can create a video from text, but there's a few things that I wanna show you. So the first thing is see up here, I pay, I think it was $15 for, I don't know, 600 seconds or maybe 200 seconds even. And then you can buy 100, 200 seconds for another $10. You can see I've got 73 seconds left and you can get credits. Now here is what you don't wanna do. So say I just put um, man looking worried just to make it simple. So see this, if you hit generate now, you're gonna take four seconds off your credits without even seeing it. And I did this lots of times before I saw you can hit free p preview and what free preview does is it'll give you four images kind of like mid journey, but then it that means you can see what's going to be produced, which seems kind of obvious, but I completely missed it. So now four Im images get produced and that doesn't take off your seconds. So say you like this image, you can click use images input and then you can generate it and it'll turn it into some sort of video. But what I find runway is better for doing is things like huge explosion or like car flying through space simple objects if you're trying to build an elaborate scene it's going to mix the words together and you're going to get some really weird stuff which is why i would go over to mid journey to do some of these scenes so for example if we scroll up in mid journey you can see here this image people looking up at an alien invasion above wide establishing shot cinematic realistic by the way, if you don't know anything about Mid Journey, I've got a huge video on my channel which blew up. Uh, I didn't expect it, but I show how to cut them out into layers and animate them. But now you've got Runway as well, which just adds to that AI arsenal. I took this image and I dragged it into Runway. But let's just go back into Runway and then I'll show you that process after the text to image. So you can see here we could generate it and there's some settings down here which I want to tell you about as well. So interpolate smooths out the frames. I've tried with and without, and to be honest, it's always a little bit weird. Upscale, I keep that on and remove watermark. This is super annoying because a lot of the time this is off by default. And then you'll cut you. So you could be subscribed where it says you watermarks removed, but you have to make sure you click that. So all the footage I downloaded, I had to go and re-download without the watermark. You click on the image you click use the same seed and then you tick watermark, but that uses your credits as well. So you can see how you can really drain a lot of credits by just making a little mistake, like leaving a watermark on. But I think if you've already generated the image, you should be able to download it without the watermark for free. Maybe that's just me, but, and even when you do that, you download, you have to go back, click back into assets and go back into your list and it just took a long time. So let's hit generate anyway, so we can hit generate on this. I won't show you the whole length because you wanna watch the video, but you can see here roughly, it takes a while. It's not like mid journey, it doesn't pump it out quickly. It probably takes about a minute to generate this video. 
So let's wait and we'll see what pops up with this video and then we'll get a better example. Right, I waited ages, it's on 33%. So what I'm gonna show you is a bit more runway while this is happening. So you, when it's generating, you cl can click back, but if you've just looked at previews and you click back, those previews are gone. But see here, so if we go to view assets, you can see all the videos that I've created and images. Actually, we need to click into Gen 2. And look, I'll show you some of the weird things. So first of all, everything is in like slow-mo. It's more like taking an image and morphing it around. So like this is aliens shooting. So in that quick video, it might have looked good, but some of this stuff just doesn't really make sense at the moment. However, here you can see this is actually a good example of what it could be used for because I've put a soldier with an explosion. As long as the soldier's not moving, the explosion behind looks amazing. So for things like that, like an explosion, you can get some really good results. This is one of my favorite clips where I've put like explosion. It doesn't really make sense. I don't know what that thing is and it flies into it, but it kind of worked in the trailer. And you can see how many videos I created just to create that trailer through trial and error. Oh my goodness, it's shocking now I'm even looking at it. So I spent, I think I bought two lots of credits for $10 each and the subscription, so $35. So now if we refresh, we should be able to see if that new video is rendered. Yeah, so you see here, you're in your assets and you can double click in and we can have a look at this. This is actually a pretty impressive shot. It's good because the face isn't moving. So you've just got the cars in the background. Well done runway. I think again, it is incredible for just adding a bit more depth than just a normal picture. Again, if the guy's got a helmet on or something like that, then this can look really good because it's just like a solid image with some decent contrast and like less facial, facial, less facial or human movements. So if you click Gen 2 and you click this magic button, you get back to your prompt. So this is what I was showing you. If this was a preview and the watermark wasn't removed, you have to click watermark again you want to click fix seed so you keep the same random generator number and then you generate it again without the watermark. But even if you don't click fix seed and you miss that, generate it, now you get a different animation. You could end up spending like 12 seconds on four seconds. Also, it does four second clips by default. I think when you're subscribed, you can increase the clips. Now, the next thing I want to show you is the camera motion and when this has worked really well so let me find an example that actually works with this image i went into mid journey i created this image but i only wanted the spaceship to move to move down i didn't want the people going doing all weird stuff so what i did was well in fact we can do it again so i'll go to web here download this image and now in runway we can go start with image i'm going to drag my mid journey image into runway and upload here and now what you can do is click into motion brush says you don't have to be specific and now if we just drag roughly around the spaceship and sort of paint this you can set the direction and then we're going to go vertical and we're going to drag it down a little bit it's going to just animate that and bring it down i think that people still do weird stuff but what can you do so we'll click save and then we'll click generate so i've been here like two minutes and it's on 39 percent that's finished rendering now so let's click in and you can see the spaceship animates down from using the motion brush tool so that's one cool way to use it so now finally let's just go into the timeline i'm just going to show you a few extra little cool things that i did here first of all i've downloaded these black aspect ratio bars makes it more cinematic and if i go to my sequence settings so i've made this in 1080p but the default aspect ratio for the runway clips is 2816 by 1536. So it's kind of a little bit outside of 1080p when it fits. There's small black bars. So to zoom in and out, I've put the black bars and made it more cinematic. And it means I can kind of zoom in and out. So I've done a few extra things here. So this shot with the helmet, I've actually just taken two shots put a mask around it, put it onto screen mode, added a bit of feather, and that's how I got that visor shot. And that's also the same with this shot at the end where the rocket launcher guy is kind of in there. 
for these little flashes, I just use levels to animate the white level. I've used a little fade to black and some opacity to kind of get this alien to appear in. Because it turns out that that thing is real. Here I'm just animating a title, very basic. These shots with the shooting just didn't look great without uh, any actual bullets or anything. So to be honest, I could have spent more time on it, but I spent so much time on it already. You get the idea. So this is without the shooting. And I wanted to make it a bit more epic, so I just added some. And those I got from this pack from Aegis. Uh, let's have a look. Aegis Pack Manager. Now, they haven't paid me to say this at all, but they did have a Black Friday deal on. And I've got an affiliate link where you can get the everything you want bundle, something like that. And you can get basically like a billion assets for nothing. Uh, well, not for nothing, for a cup for a hundred dollars, hundred and fifty, something like that. I don't know if the sales on, but I've got a link somewhere. I'll leave the link links in the description. And they've got these muzzle flashes. So these are what I use for this. This is the first time really because I'm making like a movie trailer that I actually started diving in some special effects. But as you can see, I'm not going to just sell you this thing now. But they've just got tons of stuff. You get it cheaper, I get it cheaper, and they make some money as well. So if you buy that pack everybody wins again i added some bullets here nothing too crazy just some muzzle flashes and some bullets and that's pretty much it guys so runway again expensive if you do it wrong good for creating things like an explosion or somebody with a helmet on or a close-up shot also it's a lot harder to get the exact scene you're trying to describe whereas mid journey's really advanced with that so I found sometimes I'll make the thing with Mid Journey and just animate with Runway. So that's it for the video. I'll leave you with the trailer one more time. Thanks for watching. If you like making videos and making money, making videos and stuff, subscribe. Go for it. it goes a long way. Thank you very much. See you in the next one. about this particular thing. Because it turns out that that thing is real. That thing I referred to earlier, well, it's happening. And it will destroy us all! Someone has to stop this thing! And that someone is you! You didn't think it would be that easy, did you? who can stop this thing. You are that person. Now take my hand! Run! For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Action.